Aloha. My name, everyone, my name is Shannon Cristobal. I'm the director of Hawaii History Day and K-12 programming at Hawaii Council of the Humanities. On behalf of the Hawaii Council of the Humanities, we would like to thank you for, thank you all for taking the time to be with us today. Today, we have three amazing organizations with us. First is Historic Hawaii Foundation. Second is Hula Preservation Society. And third is the University of Hawaii and East West Center of Pacific Studies. So without further ado, we will get started with the Historic Hawaii Foundation. Andra Nandaskar is the Education Program Manager at Historic Hawaii Foundation, where she oversees HHF's educational programs, including organizing seminars, workshops, lecture series, tours, advocacy campaigns, and other education initiatives. She's been with HHF since 2012 and has a passion for people to learn and learn about and save Hawaii's historic places. I'll see you, Andrea. Thank you so much, Shannon. Um, I'm really grateful to be here, so thank you for this opportunity. Um, just a little about Historic Hawaii Foundation, which may be new for, for some of you, is we were founded in 1974, and as Shannon mentioned, we help people save places, save historic places. And just to clarify, historic places are defined as they could be historic buildings, sites, including cultural sites, structures, objects, districts um, that represent the multi-layered past of Hawaii's history. And on a less tangible level, these are places that hold mem memory and are receptacles for the stories that have unfolded there. And we help save places through education, through advocacy, assistance, and protection of and for historic places. And so I'm really excited. I know these are like super strange times, just like being on Zoom all the time and having to do all of the content and students and teachers. But um, in line with that, we've been able to reach broader audiences and we've also been developing new virtual resources that I'm hoping will maybe spark some projects and a journey of discovery for some of the students and teachers who are here with us today. So um, with that, I'm going to, um, Rather than a PowerPoint, I'm actually gonna jump on our website so I can help you navigate through. Um, primarily, I'm gonna to touch on three things that we have available on our website, which I think would be really, really helpful and I feel really passionate about. So let me just share my screen. And just to let you know, our website, if you can't see it up in the URL, is historichawaii.org. And so one thing that we started to do, and we actually, it's really funny how this pandemic has led to us doing the kinds of things that we've been putting on the back burner, but really wanted to do for the last few years. And one of them is start to develop more of our heritage tourism, um, sharing capacities for virtual maps, tours, um, videos, apps, things that kind of bringing together the work, some of the work that we've done, but also the work of other historic organizations because we are statewide. And so we are here to support, you know, sometimes there's an organization saving a bridge or, or a, stewarding a site like Iolani Palace. Or, so we're here for everyone to, to help be a voice and to help advocate and educate. So if you go to Preserving Places, you click on heritage tourism. One of the things we did was we started to consolidate any of the tours, apps, videos, et cetera, that we knew about and put them into um, little boxes for the different islands. And then you can go into Kauai, for example, and, and this is a work in progress. So we encourage people in the community who know of other tours and things to reach out to us and we can certainly add to these pages. So we've got trails, we've got some different sites, we've got a video, and I'll talk more about that later. It's related to an upcoming event, um, Scenic Byway. So these are some of the examples. And then I want to just um, really briefly highlight some really fun story maps that we have been creating. And it's a work in progress. We hope to do more on different islands. Uh, next will be Hilo, but we did a Capital Historic District, so downtown in Honolulu, the Capital Historic District, collaboration with students from the Mid-Pac 
um, historic preservation 3D scanning and an architectural, archeological firm rather, um, cultural surveys of Hawaii. And so we all got together. They had all this cultural surveys, had all this great information and maps and, and they didn't know how to share it with the public. The students are learning about preservation and sites and we're the intermediary. And so we got together, we had meetings and we created this wonderful story map. And so the story map can just, you can go downtown in Honolulu and actually walk it. So you just start at the beginning and then you can read a little about each of these places. And what the students did was they took this wonderful public art downtown and they researched it and then they participated by sharing that. And we had a launch event and two of the students actually were docents for that launch event and it was just a lot of fun. So that can be viewed on a tablet or a um, iPhone or any smartphone actually. And then there's one here as well from Holly, uh, which is Holly Eva, which I'll show you the only difference is this has a little bit more information. So this is some of the different sites in Holly Eva. And when you click on these sites, you can actually go to read more about all of these sites on what's called a map journal platform. And these platforms can be creatively used in so many ways. You can add video, you can add art, you can add uh, you know, oral histories. So we are always available and looking for good collaborations. So these are just some of the examples from, um, from those two pieces. And then another thing I'd like to share is, so this is all accessible from our main page. You just click on the logo to go back to like the main page and you can actually access, um, next I'll share, so historic places. So what does that mean? So I'm not sure if you're familiar and I won't go into it cause that could be a whole nother uh, webinar about the places that are listed on the Hawaii State and National Registers of Historic Places and like why they're there and what makes them significant and all of that is a very rich um, program of its own which I'm happy to present if anyone has an interest at some point in the future. Um, but what, what we have here, part of putting a site on the register and it has to be 50 years or older with some exceptions to start with and then there's several areas of significance, which I won't go into right now, that make it significant um, or make it eligible rather. What happens is there's a nomination that's filled out related to those sites. And when you click, you can go to um, any of these, the counties in, in the islands. And what happens is it takes you to this page. And then if you see there is, um, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but there's residential properties on this tab and then non-residential and then non-designated, which I can explain after, and then sites, objects, and structures. And so when you land on that, each one has its own nomination form and the nomination forms are a wealth of information. They talk about the history, they talk about maybe people who were associated, who were impactful at that time and in, in impacted the trajectory of history and how it unfolded. Um, this one was really fun. This is the Kapaya um, Swinging Bridge. Just trying to, I think it's still unfolding. On Kauai in Lehui. And this particular site um, was really interesting. So I'll just show you, that's a picture of the bridge, which was actually preserved by a community that recognized its value that it's it's part of their community. They wanted to tell the story. They got together and they worked many years to preserve it and they did. And it was just a wonderful story of community engagement and protection of a place that they love in their backyard. And just super quickly, just checking the time, um, just super quickly, you can learn all, so basically within these nominations, there's information about the history, the architecture, people, as I mentioned, um, what makes it unique. And it would be a great jumping off point, I think if I was an instructor to just help people understand a particular place and piece of history. And then there's some, often some beautiful photography related to that too. So 
the, the historic sites, there's hundreds of them and you can take your time and go through that. Um, another thing that is really fun that we have been sprucing up at this time is our blog. And our blog is an opportunity for us to really share different projects in the different communities. So here's um, a schoolhouse, a historic schoolhouse in Waimea, the Big Island that was adaptively reused to become Isaac's Art Center at the Hawaii Preparatory Academy. So here we showcase stories, restoration of the control towers uh, on Fort, historic Fort Island. Uh, two of them I just want to really briefly point out are we had a wonderful, this relates to students, wonderful um, experience with two students. One, Nayun Hung, who was born and raised here and is an architecture student at Notre Dame, who came and did a, um, a self-directed study in historic preservation this year. And so she and I both wrote about her experience and it's on the blog, so you can go back to it. So I wrote about it and there she is in London, but pre-COVID, doing Europe and having to come back. And then another super fun um, experience with another young person was a woman named Heather K. Kahuna, grew up in California, came to Hawaii to learn about her roots. She's a native Hawaiian, but hadn't lived here and didn't know much of her story's history. And she volunteered with us for an event. Long story short, she's at UH Hilo studying cultural anthropology and, and archeology span too, I believe. And she turns, turns out she found out through her research and through this whole um, this journey of discovery that her family comes, her family lineage, lineage is related to the last fishing village in Hawaii Ne, which is Milo'i on Hawaii Island. So she tells her story, um, that's Heather, and then she just goes through, that's her tutu, and the church where she actually attends services now and her and her cousins. So these are just fun, really passionate, like young people who wanna know about their history and we are passionate to help, uh, you know, provide a platform and education for young people. And then the last thing that I will share is um, I think basically I'm, I'm done. I just want, oh, the last thing really quickly is we have events. And I think for teachers and students, so now upcoming on next Thursday, we're having a film screening of Wailua. Um, and this is going to be paired with Na'alehu Anthony, the director and a member of the Department of Transportation. It was a mitigation pro project. And, Long story short, this beautiful documentary was the result and it tells this amazing history of this place. So there'll be a discussion afterwards. So I think if I was a young person, I'd be really, really stoked to maybe watch the film's only 30 minutes. The discussion's gonna be just amazing. And so I just uh, wanted to point out that you can sign up for our e-news, uh, which is up here on the right of the top just to get on our list to find out all the great things. We've been reaching out almost weekly during the pandemic. And then the last thing I wanted to point out was on, on the HHF staff page, if you wanna reach out to me, you can find my contact information. Here's our staff, I love our staff. I've been here since 2012, it's our family away from family. There I am and you should be able to email me and I love to collaborate, I love community, I love I love creating stuff that helps people love places because if you want to save places, you have to know about them. And if you know about them and love them, then you want to protect them. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm going to stop sharing. Mahalo. Thank you so much, Andrea. I was just going to ask you, how do we connect you with students but you and teachers and you actually showed us directly. So perfect. Thank you so much.